Kevin Knox took a call from someone who knew exactly what he experienced on draft night. New Yorkers didn't welcome Kristaps Porzingis with open arms, either. He asked me how the fans reacted, and I told him I got the same amount of booze as he got, Knox said on Friday, Saturday, Manila time. He just laughed, and he said it's all motivation and fuel to the fire, and he said just work, and he said sooner or later they'll be cheering for you. Dot that's what happened with Porzingis, who quickly won over those who loudly booed his selection in 2015 with his talent, competitiveness and work ethic. The Knicks see the same traits in Knox, convincing them that the Kentucky freshman was not only the player to take with the no. Nine pick but that he's ready to start and match up with the NBA's best small forwards next season. That's why they decided a day before the draft they were taking Knox, if he was available, and didn't waver from that even when Michael Porter Jr. was still on the board, disappointing some at Barclays Center who chanted for Porter and then booed Knox. I love the fact that he wanted to be at Kentucky, that he wanted to be a Nick, Knicks coach David Fisdale said. Says a lot about that kid, that he wants challenges, and so I think he's going to fit exactly the way we want to build our culture. Dot beyond the 15.6 points he averaged last season, while sharing SEC Freshman of the Year honors with Colin Sexton. Drafted one pick earlier by Cleveland, Knox impressed the Knicks with his confidence. He chose to play at Kentucky out of Tampa Catholic in Florida and compete for playing time with the other talented players in Lexington, then agreed to play three-on-three -three in workouts when many top prospects prefer to do them individually. And the annual outsized expectations faced by John Calipari's teams should help Knox prepare for the pressure of New York, perhaps giving him a quicker adjustment period than Frank Ntilikina, the Knicks lottery pick last season, had after coming to the U.S. from France. That actually is going to be up to Kevin, what the learning curve is and how long the adjustment takes, team president Steve Mill said. But what I will say is that while all college basketball programs prepare guys to play in the NBA, the sort of pressure in the limelight and the spotlight you're under when you make a decision to play at Kentucky I think does prepare you in a different way to play in a place like New York. So I think some of the things that are tougher for rookies to make adjustments to are some things that he's already been through. Dot the adjustment is likely much longer for seven-footer Mitchell Robinson, who the Knicks took with the no. 36 pick. A high school All-American in 2016-17, he enrolled at Western Kentucky but never played, instead leaving school and opting to train for the draft. He said he worked out daily but hasn't played competitively in a year, so it's unknown how soon he could contribute. But Fisdale sounds ready to put Knox on the court right away on a team that used Tim Hardaway Jr. And Courtney Lee is undersized small forwards last season. They're both 6'5, and he's got to guard Lebron and Kevin Durant, and those are the threes in our league, Fisdale said. So I feel like it's a very good opportunity to have a chance to start.